everybody, it's Matthew here for Field Trip again. And today we are back at Tommy Thompson Park. We did that one way back in the spring before all these nice beautiful flowers were out. So we're going to try to do it again. And this time we're going to try to find that lighthouse I told you about. So let's go. Say it's important to remember we're sharing the trails with everyone else from people who are walking like me to people who are on their bicycles. We've even seen a few skateboarders. So we have to remember that we stay on one side of the trail to give room for everyone else. That way we can all enjoy our time. Just a little bit of reminder information for everyone, or maybe people who have, didn't see the first Tommy Thompson video. Tommy Thompson Park is a very cool conservation area, just down on the southeast of Toronto, right on the water. In conservation area, that means that it's a place where we've let wildlife grow. It's a place, you know, where no construction is happening. And it's just a place where animals and wildlife can just live and thrive and do their thing. And it's really neat because it's actually built the island or the, the spit, right? The little chunk of land itself is actually built out of old building materials. So when people have torn down apartment buildings or dug up roads or anything, they keep all that material all the old bricks, all the old rebar, the concrete. So they collect it all and they crumble it all down and they've used it to spread all out over the land. And then all the natural vegetation, the plants and everything have grown up right over it. It's very, very cool. Look at this. A nice big bumblebee getting the tasty treats of some milkweed. Aww. Right, see, it's wonderful to have all these flowers out here, these nice wild flowers, which also work as pollinators. Right? They're flowers that bees and butterflies love to get their pollen and then spread it from plant to plant, helping everything to grow better. Well, everybody, I just wanted to share with you one of the many different things that Tommy Thompson Park is doing to kind of bring back the natural habitat back to this land. So we see out right all out in front of me here, this big marshy space, right? We've got, oh, look at all these, we've got lily pads everywhere, everything. Just nice, beautiful marshy space. Now. One of the things that we've got is this little platform right out over here. And if you see that platform, you can almost kind of see these little like roofs, these angled kind of blocks. Now those are actually called turn rafts. And raft is because it kind of floats in the water, right? Like a big platform. And turn, T-E-R-N, is actually a name of a bird. It's the bird, it's the symbol of Tommy Thompson Park. And it kind of looks almost like a seagull, 
but with a little bit of a more pointier, pointier beak. What they do is they dive down into the water and they collect fish and bugs and everything. But the reason why they built these turn rafts is so that they can kind of keep the bird species alive without any predators like minks or raccoons climbing into their nest and eating their young. So they're out on the water where they can't get, the predators can't get them and they're allowed to survive and thrive. So that's one of these really cool, neat things that Tommy Thompson Park has. It's not just a beautiful way to get away from the city while still being in the city, but it's a wonderful thing that they're doing to really help protect the wildlife and wetlands around us. Yeah, learning. So as Matthew was actually sitting there talking about turns and the way that Tommy Thompson is protecting wildlife, look at a gross, nasty garter snake was sitting on the rock right by me. Oh, it's so scary. I know it's not that long and I know they don't, they're not poisonous or anything, but and they're actually good because they eat different bugs that, you know, like mosquitoes and stuff that are really pesky and annoying. But, oh, Matthew was not a fan of snakes, so he is very brave right now. You remember this. He is very brave for showing you this gross, nasty snake. But now, Matthew is going to run away. Okay, I wanted to point something out to all of you. Now you probably recognize this tree before. This is a sumac tree. But what you probably didn't know is the sumac flower, or I'm not sure if it's flower or berry, I'm not really sure, but the flower we'll call it, it actually can be used in cooking. So you use it kind of like as an aromatic, which means it brings flavor and smell to your cooking. So you take the cone and then you dry it out and then you grind it all up and then you add that to say cooking dishes say like rice or something like that just like you would something like saffron or, or other things and really gives it a wonderful flavor and a little bit of a nice color as well so there you go sumac it's not just a beautiful tree not really not just nice to like cut into a nice fall bouquet but can also be used in food all right let's keep going There we are, we're on our way. We're on our way to the lighthouse. This time I'm definitely gonna show you the lighthouse. I'm gonna make it. Last time we got lost, we got turned around. I was building building Inuk shucks and walking along the waterfront, playing with all those nice cool rocks and bricks. This time, this time we're gonna find the lighthouse, I promise. Oh, and look it. See all along Tommy Thompson, all along the trail, we got a few porta potties here. You know, they're not everywhere, but it's nice to know that if ever you need to use the washroom, boom, there it is. Whew, which is always nice because we're far away from our houses, we're far away from restaurants or coffee shops where we might be able to use washrooms. But it's good to know that the park provides some and not just at the entrance. Yeah. Yes, there's our lighthouse. Dun, 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 dun. Found it. Now, right now Matthew's actually very, very far away from it. Only because we're going to walk around the outer edge of it and then we'll kind of walk up the hill to the lighthouse. First, I wanted to check out the outer edge because, I mean, again, we got this beautiful breeze that's now running across kind of cooling us down but also look at we get to see how the people that are out also enjoying the breeze enjoying the sun and water you can see out on the water there's some sailboats going on I don't know I haven't seen any ducks yet today but maybe we'll get lucky and see some ducks we don't know so yeah we're just gonna keep on walking sit on this little sculpture kind of bench. We're going to look out. Oh yeah. We're going to look out onto the water. 
watch as the boats all go by. We're gonna enjoy the breeze. It's a perfect spot for a nice little midday picnic. So we're gonna have some water, some veggies, and then we'll get to the lighthouse. I do promise we will not leave before we check out that amazing lighthouse. Here we go. We are approaching the lighthouse. It's this thin, narrow trail. All right. Nicely overgrown with all of this, all the weeds and trees. Again, just like everything in Tommy Thompson Park. We let nature come back, taking back over this space. So. finally found that lighthouse. Now you can see it's all blocked off, right? But we finally found it. And that's why it's kind of grown over, right? Because, you know, it's private property now, but it's so neat. So let's go check out, maybe see if we can get some good views. And then I think it's ugh, gonna be time for us to say goodbye. One of our nice views from out by the, by the lighthouse. See a nice boat going across the water. You see the branches dancing in the wind. Pretty cool. There's our big lighthouse. I got that cool solar panel right there. It collects all the sun, just like this solar panel. It collects all the sun and turns it into energy, turns it into power, right? So cool. All right. I think we're going to head on back now. So let's see if we see any more cool things as we leave the park. Wow, look at it. I found a beach full of geese and ducks. Look at them all. Hi ducks. Hi geese. And they're all just hanging out, enjoying the breeze, enjoying the water. Okay, ducks. Okay, geese. Bye. I think I got a little too close to that snake before. Check this out. We just walked out of Tommy Thompson Park. We're just heading back into the, you know, into the city itself. You can hear the noise of the cars rumbling by. We know that we're, we're back into the city, but you know what? It was so much fun. Thank you so much for coming along with me today on their field trip to Tommy Thompson. I'm glad that I finally got to show you that lighthouse. That's that gross snake and so many other cool things. So thank you so much and I'll see you on the next field trip.